So today's video I'm really excited for, it's going to be kind of like, not exactly a transformation, but also kind of a transformation video. I'm going to show you what I do for my like clubbing makeup normally, even though this is probably going to be a little bit more glam than I normally do because I'm quite lazy and I don't do much on the regular. So today I'm going to take you through my makeup, my hair, I'm going to show you what my outfit's going to be. So yeah, I have a 21st tonight in the city, so it's a little bit more fancy than like just staying in my local area, which is so much easier to dress for. I feel like when you know it's fancier, it's so much easier to be like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna wear that. But when it's like in between casual, you're like, is this too much? Do I wear heels? Do I wear flats? And it's just like, anyway, completely irrelevant. So yeah, I'm really excited. I'm getting ready super early. It's currently 10 to 11 in the morning because I'm doing my friend's makeup after and I know I'm gonna take 3,000 years to film. So my makeup needs to stay on for a very, very long time. Before I jump into the video, guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you you haven't already and you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram because we're super close to 30,000 followers over there <gasps> and that's when I notify you guys when I post all of my videos but without further ado let's get into the video I'm gonna do one eye off camera because I don't exactly know what I'm doing quite yet and I know if I do both eyes at the same time I'm probably gonna screw up and I don't have time to screw up today so I will be back in probably like an hour two hours later oh my golly gosh I <laughs> This is the third eyeshadow look that I've done. Everything that I was doing just looked muddy and gross and I kept taking it off. So I decided I'm doing like barely any eyeshadow and then a super dramatic wing because I think I'm gonna go with a red lip and I think the wing will look cool with the lip. So I still need to go over the band of this lash by the way with some liner so just please ignore that for the time being. I'm gonna take a mixture of the Too Faced Born This Way and the Benefit Boing Concealer. I would use P. Louise, but it's a little bit pinky, and since you're gonna be seeing a lot of my skin, I'm gonna use my regular concealers for that. I'm just gonna pop that on my lid. Quite a lot, because I wanna really like blank out my lid. If you see specks of glitter on my face, that's from the remnants of the previous makeup looks. I totally thought I would be finished by now, like hair, everything, done. But no, literally just starting. I make sure I get it like right in the inner corner and like take it all the way out here because the wing is gonna be out here. Then I'm gonna take my sponge and just tap that out. You can use a brush for this, but I'm just gonna use a sponge. This is the Sigma sponge. It works really well because the tip of it's super pointy. Okay, now that I've got the eyeshadow base down, I am gonna set it because I'm not doing like too much eyeshadow and just lightly set that. The eyeshadow of this is Super duper easy. I'm gonna take my Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. I know I use this in every makeup tutorial I do, but I'm basically gonna take a mixture of burnt orange and orange soda, and that's it. I'm literally just gonna pop that into my crease, just kind of put it everywhere. I'm gonna blow it out as well. Just so there's some color. I was gonna do no shadow and like just the wing, but I feel like it needs something. But now for the eyeliner, the bane of my existence, because I suck at eyeliner. <sighs> so I'm gonna use tape for this, just because it helps me get a precise line. I take quite a lot, so. On this eye, I put it too flat, so I think I need to lift it up a little bit. Probably gonna be too flat as well, but I will. Make sure the tape is really sticking down on the eyeliner section, because obviously that's where you want it. For liner, I'm using the only liner I have, and that's the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. The lid of this flew off somewhere, and now I can't find it, which is just great. So that means that it's gonna dry out. So we're gonna do a super dramatic wing, because of, that's all I'm capable of, apparently. So I'm just gonna hold my breath and bear with me. I don't have any like technique for doing a winged liner. I just kind of do it. <laughs> the easiest part is like filling in the wing on the tape. That's so easy. You just have to accept <laughs> that it's not gonna look very good. Now we're definitely going to have to clean this up because this is not gonna be. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, they're actually not that bad. <laughs> I'm gonna take a makeup wipe and I'm gonna use my nail, the pros of having the long ass nails with square tips. I'm gonna use the edge of it to clean up We're gonna also use concealer as well. I think I'm gonna pop on the falsies and I feel like it could look semi similar. For lashes, I'm gonna use these Velua lashes in the style Can't Be Tamed. They're like super fluttery and pretty. Who can 
baby Jesus. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I just did that. We're just going to leave it. We're just going to hopefully it'll just dry. Okay. So next step I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up the wing a little bit. Look how much sharper that looks. So for primer, I'm going to use the Benefit Professional just on like the poria, poria parts of my face. For foundation, because it's like an event, I'm going to be using my favorite, favorite foundation ever. The Hourglass Vanish Foundation. So, that all over my face. And we're going for full coverage today. Nothing natural here. I'm getting all sassy now because I'm over everything. To blend that out, I'm actually going to use the Morphe M439 Foundation Stick foundation brush. I love this foundation brush, especially for blending out this foundation because this foundation blends out like a dream. Like, look at that. So beautiful. And then to get around my eyebrows, I'm gonna use like a more precise brush. This is a Sigma E55 brush. Then I'm going to apply my concealer. I'm just using the Too Faced Born This Way again. Okay, now I'm gonna blend that out. Once again, I'm using the Sigma sponge because it gets right up next to the wing, which I really like. To set my face, I'm going to use the Urban Decay Velvetizer Powder. I'm going to take my sponge and just set it. I'm not going to bake. Like, look how smooth and beautiful. I'm basically going to use this to set the center of my face. <laughs> now I'm going to go in with the Benefit Hello Happy Velvet Powder Foundation, just because it's going to add a little bit more coverage. And the more coverage I have on my face, the longer my makeup's going to last, essentially. This is in the color 6. And I'm not going to put too much of this on, though. I'm just going to put it kind of where I didn't put the Urban Decay powder. So moving on to bronzer, I'm first gonna go into my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer and I'm gonna go in with this because I wanna look super bronzed, super goddess-like, you know, just the usual. Jewel line, I get right up behind my ears because there's no fake tan behind there apparently. Then, for a little extra, I'm gonna take Hula and I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna use that to contour. When you go clubbing, it's like a different type of makeup, you know? Like, you just gotta go in. Okay, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of blush. This is the Benefit Gold Rush. Got my nose, just look a bit sunburned, but also cute. Okay, now I'm gonna just spray down my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I look actually insane. Alrighty, I'm gonna take my Cheek Leaders palette and I'm gonna take the shade Tickle and I'm gonna use this as like my base highlighter, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna pop that onto the nose. Cheeks. Then for the topper, I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Diamond Bomb because this is going to make it look wet, dripping gorgeousness. So I'm just going to pop that where I put everything else. Okay, so I'm not going to put the lipstick on now because I'm going to do my hair first and then I'm going to do the lipstick. For my hair, I washed it yesterday. So I'm going to probably just put some curls in it, to be honest. I do get questions all the time about how I curl my hair. And honestly, it's super simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to section up half of my hair. Just so there's a bit of grip in my hair, I'm going to take this Shu Uemura. I can't say that brand. It's just some dry shampoo. Really good dry shampoo, though. Just so there's some hold to it and it's not so fresh. The bottom section of my hair is always like the most annoying to do because it's so short. This is my curling iron. It's just by the brand Silver Bullet. I like it. It does the job. So what I'm going to do is section my hair like that. And I kind of do my best. Ow, burnt myself. That's great. I kind of do my best to curl the back pieces because you're not really going to see them. Then what I do is I'm going to curl the opposite direction. So I just went away from my face. Now I'm gonna go towards my face. The reason for that is so the curls are kind of like all mix match. I know a lot of people go, oh, always curl away from your face, but I do one towards, one away. But the pieces at the front of my face, I generally go away from my face, just because it looks better, in my opinion, on my face. Dropping, not being too precise. If pieces didn't curl very well, I just take like a bit out and just add out. I can't believe I burnt myself up. Super annoying. Then I'm gonna take this hairspray. This is just the Got To Be Glued by Schwarzkopf. I'm just gonna give that a spray. I did use a heat protectant as well beforehand. I recommend you guys check out my pamper routine because I talk about a lot of the products that I use 
for my hair. Okay, I'm just gonna do that and then I'll be right back. Okay, then I've done the bottom layer and I'm gonna take down the hair section off again. I don't really pay too much attention, but I can't really do too thick of a section because my hair is so thick. So I've got to do it in like probably three or four sections, I would say. Sometimes more if I want it to be more curly. Now I'm just gonna take my fingers and kind of run through it a little bit. And I kind of like that messy vibe, like I don't want anything to be perfect. And then places that I see have kind of like fallen, I'll just take my curler and just pop some like, some really skinny pieces in. So everything message, meshes together. Okay, so that is it for my hair. I think I'm just gonna leave it kind of like this and I think I'm just gonna like make it simple. So now I'm gonna move on to showing you guys my outfit. Okay, so it's a little bit later now, but this is the final product. I just put on a red lipstick. This is, what is this? It's Jeffree Star Red Rum. I also used the lip liner as well. So that's what my makeup looks like. Let me try and show you. So I'll probably get Freya to show you in a second, but okay. So this is what the whole outfit looks like. It's like an all black moment. That's why I went with the red lip because I feel like you can do that when you're wearing all black. So the top is from Princess Polly. It's just like a little slinky black crop top. The skirt is from Nasty Gal. My mum had to take it off just a little bit though because it was just a tinsy bit long. The shoes are also from Nasty Gal. I showed you guys in my latest haul. Um, and yeah, that's the whole outfit. I really like it. Should be really comfortable because it is such like a flowy skirt. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this Get Ready With Me. As always, I hope you guys are having a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world and I shall see you in my next one. Bye!